I had reshared it because I think that so few women would stick in it. And, and yeah, I just have to watch this again because I, I love this and I think it's just excellent. This is an offer Stung around Past eyes Gonna never come between us Sometime The dreamers finally wake up Don't wake me I'm not dreaming Don't wake me I'm not dreaming What's the Sweet when it's fun. So my question that I always have to ask when sharing this video is, is the girl that you're with, would she, can you picture her going through this with you? Is she ride or die? And see, I, I think it's tough. I mean, you know, this is not something that I've thought deeply about or reviewed a lot. Yeah. But what would, what would your suggestion, because you don't really know. No. Until you get and into you that pray situation, it never happens. yeah, you don't ever want to put, you know, your spouse or your your you know your loved one in this position. Um, but it is really a crapshoot almost. Yeah. You know, I mean, as far as the outcome. Well, and I think one thing that that this video also makes me think about is not the rare circumstances where you'll have an accident of some kind, be it a a motorcycle accident, be it a vehicle accident, be it an accident at work, whatever the case may be, the rare instance that something like that happens to this extent and and you really do have to be nursed back to health and you really aren't going to ever be the same and that's really going to be the life that you're looking at. But a lot of a lot of relationships will also end just as health naturally naturally starts to de to deteriorate. You know, there are a lot of pissed off wives out there who are like, I didn't know I was going to be wiping his ass when he's only this age. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it truly does come down to taking care of yourself early and for the long haul so that you can have a really great, long, healthy life ahead of you. And I think it is an interesting conversation. Every once in a while, physicians, especially like oncologists. Yeah. We'll talk about this where, you know, what they see as far as like wives abandoning husbands, husbands abandoning wives. I, and I cannot recall the predominance. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's always going to be one that's a little bit more dominant, um, but they they're the ones that know. Yeah. You know, it's like talking about talking to personal trainers about how people lose weight. They're on the ground. They're dealing with literally tens of thousands of people. And the same thing with like cancer doctors. They see what actually happens on the ground. Right. You know, right. Who gets support. And I think something that would figure into it is how's the relationship when the crisis arrives. Right. You know, like if some of these older women are already got like one foot out the Good door, point. they haven't been happy in 10 years. Sometimes it's the, the nudge they need yeah. to go. Good so. point. Good point. Well, one thing that I always say, and this is something that I've said for ever, is when you're in your, your darkest point, whenever you think the day, and this can this can be true in a day-to-day -day kind of thing or in this in a kind of crisis situation. If you can look in your worst time and go, listen. In your head, if, if this never goes, gets any better than right now, right here, this moment, can I, will I be okay? Will I stick in it? And if the answer is yes, then, then you're good to go. And then even if it gets worse or better or whatever, you're in it to win it. You're, you're ride or die. But if you can't look up from a day when your spouse or loved one is cranky or ill or um, in the hospital or needing to be in the hospital and say, you know, no matter how bad this gets, I'm in it, then that's probably not the, the best relationship for you because there are gonna be times when you get 
very ill. You get, you know, in anyway. <laughs> uh, I will say, just for the haters out there, <laughs> I know that in this video that I just showed, there are short clips that she videoed. So, of course, she looks like, you know, the wife of the year, <laughs> the wife of the decade in the yeah. videos. Because, you know, she's playing with him. She's sparring with him. She's watching him have successes in, in physical therapy. But still, she's there. She's in it. She doesn't appear to be going anywhere. So I, I just want to, I know that there are going to be people who see that video probably who go, oh yeah, but she recorded that. Of course she looks like, like a saint. But, right. And it's true, but still. Do you have anything to add to my rambling? No, this is definitely an area where we can both say it's a draw. There's yeah. no real answer to this. It's a situation that we hope you don't ever come up upon, but it is part of being an adult. It's one of yeah. those things. It's like bad neighbors um, that you're not, no one prepares you for. Well, and I will say, like, I think that the point of me sharing it every time it comes through is if you are especially in a marriage and you can't look at your spouse and go, this person would take care of me. This person, I oh, in this yeah. for, for the long haul with this person, then you might, your picker might've been bad and you might need to start over. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. So Mac said, "Of course, she recorded every moment." Yeah, one thousand percent. Of imagine the attention she gets. Absolutely, heartwarming. Yes, one thousand percent. So, all right. You want to? You want to? You want a question? Sure. Let's 